Hello guys. So in this video, uh, we are going to look at how we can build Android application using the Model View Presenter architecture. So this is the simple app where we will be calling the API for the movie name and another API for the country. Okay. So let's just start from the main activity or the first view. So let me show, you, uh, give you a brief uh, understanding of uh, how the Model View Presenter architecture works. So Model View Presenter divides our code in different separation of concerns so there is a, a model for the uh, data part and there is a view for the uh, view part like the uh, widgets on the screen and there is a presenter so the presenter is responsible for every kind of interaction with the view so whenever a user interact with the view part like the this one whatever in a user interact with that very interaction will be sent to the presenter and then presenter will uh, respond to it okay so for every view like the main activity we will have a presenter and model okay fine so after just uh, looking at uh, what our layout is let me show you the main activity this is the main activity our view part so before going any uh, any the next step we just uh, start with the interface for our view so we have to create interface for our view or our interface and our, our model so this is the main activity mvp that in that has the that's also an interface and it contains the three interface inside of it so there is a view interface the presenter interface and model interface so for our current uh, discussion the view part so inside of view there are two methods update data and show a snack bar so the view interface will have all the method declaration that our view part is needed so we have declared the methods and then inside of a view we have implemented that interface after that we have uh, used the button knife to inject the dependent uh, sorry uh, inject the views at one time and we have also used dragger to inject the dependencies at one time now we are setting the adapter and we are passing the result list that result list is being updated whenever the update data method is called so you might have thought that when update data is called so update data is called whenever we are calling the presenter dot load data method so what is this presenter you might have thought that what this presenter is so this is an instance of the presenter interface and dagger will provide the instance of the presenter class like here main activity presenter so for every presenter there is will be a presenter interface that have the methods like the load data and whatever okay so our main activity presenter implement this presenter interface and they we we have to override all these methods so we have overridden the load data method and this load data method calls the result method of the model instance so what the model instance is model is an instance of the model interface so uh, we can also look at here model is another interface it has a method declaration result which returns a type of observable sorry or, uh, yeah uh, observable of view model type okay so inside of my main activity presenter that very instance call the method result so you might have thought that how an instance of an interface call, uh, can be used to call a method so this is where the dagger come in picture dagger provide all the dependencies that we are required in backend and we told the dagger dagger is nothing do it no, dagger is not doing anything by their own so we have already defined inside of our module classes that how dagger works so that is a different discussion section we will discuss later but for now just consider that dagger is providing all the dependencies that we are required and we are storing that dependency inside of our model instance okay so we are here calling the result method and you might have thought that where the result method is so the declaration or sorry the definition of this result method will be implemented by the class that implements the model interface so the model interface is implemented by this movie model class you can look at here and this movie model class override the result method and this result method is calling rxjava's zip method where it requires the uh, certain methods of repository so we are not looking at here we, are, we will just look at here after some time so let us come back to the point yeah so we are calling the method result and then our rxjava method subscribe on since we are you know using the io thread because we are requesting for data for an api and that will take some time so we can't do long running process on the main thread so we are calling the io thread 
and then we are uh, observing the result in the main thread and whenever we uh, receive the data then on next method will be called and this on next method is first check that if view is not null then it will call the update data method of the view so inside of our main activity this is the view update data method that will be called by the presenter that's why it divides out the separation of concerns so the view part or the main activity is only responsible for showing the view and the presenter is responsible for the user interactions or the method calls okay so this way we have a different uh, separation of concerns that will uh, divide our code very nicely okay so if uh, there is a on, on next will be called whenever there will be uh, the stream of data that is returned and if there is an error we can show that error by the another method inside of our view that is show a snack bar great for now okay this is all about the uh, how our main activity and presenter works together now let's come back to the method result and how that has been implemented by movie model class so inside of movie model class we have an instance of the repository and what this is this is another interface main activity repository that have certain methods so as we know that the data is being returned by the repository and that repository may be a local database or an API right so here again dagger comes in picture and dagger returns the instance of the class which implements this main activity repository and let me show you which class implements the main activity repository so I think yeah this is the class that implements the main activity repository so in backend dagger provides the instance of this uh, main activity repository class to this one so you might have thought that where this constructor has been called so this constructor is being called by the dagger and it provides the dependency and just that dependency reference referred by this repository instance okay great for now next this repository instance call the get result data method and get country data method so let's look at how these methods is been implemented by main repository since the main repository is the class that implements main activity repository for now it's okay fine great let's look for the next section the main repository so there are certain instances of like more info api service and more movie api service these are the classes that let me show you where are these so this is the uh, not classes sorry this is the interfaces and it uses retrofit to send or set the certain parameters for the api so for example movie api service has a uh, uh, annotation add get and then the top rated so in back end we have already set the endpoints where we will be calling these uh, sorry where we will be appending these uh, endpoints so in uh, for uh, let me show you the code for example in next video